Hi and welcome to this online training video for Automation Studio. In this video, our starting point will be a motor control circuit just like the one we realized in the previous video and we'll try to analyze it with a couple of different instruments. First, we want to put some measuring instruments from the library onto the schematic. To do so, let's open the Electrotechnical NEMA library and select measuring instruments. In there, you can find all the different measuring instruments available in Automation Studio. Let's start by inserting a voltmeter. As you insert those measuring instruments onto your schematic, the variable that will be measured by default is written. So here you see RMS voltage. You can move that label around, you can edit its layout, And know that if you move the component, the relative position of the label will remain the same. To connect the voltmeter, just do as you would connect any other components. Simple clicks to create your wires. And now, as I start simulation, you see my RMS voltage for my control circuit is 120 volts. Now, let's see how the current reacts according to the load on the motor. To do so, I'll need some ammeters. And you may notice here, the measuring instrument is slightly big compared to my circuit, so I will resize it. To resize the component, one has to right click onto it and unlock its size. Only then will you be able to take one of those handles and to reduce the size of your component. And for easier manipulation afterwards, I will lock back its size. I will not need the label, so I can get rid of it. And now I can copy or duplicate my component holding down the control key. Now, holding down the shift key, I will be able to insert my component straight onto my wires. Once that's done, I will need the electrotechnical plotter to graph the different values of the current in all of my phases. To do so, let's go back to simulation tab and open the electrotechnical plotter. Now, I simply drag and drop my components from the schematic onto the plotter and select which variable I want to plot. In this case, the current. And now, to show the details of the plotter, you can expand the details by clicking on the blue arrow. And there you can select any of the variables you want to plot and to change the scale or color and units. So let's rescale those values from minus 8 amps to 8 amps. Now that we've finished to configure our plotter and scale the different ammeters, we can go to simulation. And adjust the view a bit. You can minimize the details of the electrotechnical plotter so you can see the graph bigger. Now as I press forward, you'll see the motor starting to turn and the current consumption to start high and then reduce as the nominal speed is reached. So I'm pressing and you see high current consumption that phase down to nominal speed. And as I increase my resistive torque, you'll see the current consumption increase and the speed decreasing. So the, the more I increase the torque, the lower the speed, the higher the current consumption. And now as I go over five amps, you see there my overload protection countdown starting to run. Then the higher the, the current consumption is, the faster or the smaller the countdown will be. 
as soon as I get back below 5 amps, then I reset my counter. Measuring instruments and plotter are one way of getting data out of your circuit in Automation Studio. Another way to do so is by using the dynamic measuring instruments. Those can be found in the Simulation tab. In here, you'll find three types of dynamic measuring instruments. The dynamic for components, the one for two node, and the one for three nodes. For example, the component dynamic measuring instrument can be applied on any component. So here, if I select my motor, for example, can select any of the recorded properties. So let's select angular speed. Then you can choose its precision or stability, and then validate. Once that's done, you can now see real-time results. If I increase or decrease the torque, you'll see the speed changing, and my dynamic measuring instruments react in real time. Another application for those component dynamic measuring instruments are for electrical wires, because they are as well components. So here I can record the root mean square current, or the average current, or the instantaneous current. So we'll choose the RMS current. And here again, as I change my torque, you'll see the current consumption change to change accordingly. Then there's the two nodes measuring instruments, which can be used, for example, here to read tension in between two lines. So let's choose any from those recorded properties. I will go with the RMS voltage. Now we see almost 460 volts. And finally, there's a three node dynamic measuring instrument, which can be used to record um, the active power, for example. Now, as I change my resistive torque, you'll see all those data, the, the refresh in real time. Thanks for watching this online training video for Automation Studio. We invite you to watch the other videos and we'd like to thank you for your time.